Alice, another day, another uh, victory for you. But this one, uh, once again, it wasn't easy, especially out of the opening. It felt like she was putting a lot of pressure on you. You weren't really comfortable with the opening phase, were you? Yeah, um, she played like this 94 move and move eight, which I wasn't expecting. And um, I actually like know this position except with the bishop on uh, d3, not mm -hmm, on e2. Mm -hmm. uh, so here I was pretty annoyed because usually you play like knight e2. Um, but yeah, so I felt like in, out of the opening I was definitely unprepared. I was probably worse. Um, but I didn't see like sh that she had like an immediate win with her attack. No, Although no. she was definitely, I thought she was still like better. Um, I, I think you still had a slight edge out of the opening, but at the same time she was, you know, finding the right moves. Yeah. Uh, by the so, way, you had <laughs> you had an amazing opportunity here. Did you uh, mm -hmm. even consider this idea with knight takes c4? Oh no, no, I didn't. And uh, queen to c4 now. Yeah, and then I guess I have d5. Or and if he goes rook f7, you take. Oh no, I did, I definitely didn't see any of that. <laughs> that <laughs> I, was... I just played g3 pretty quickly. Yes. Uh, and then, I mean, here I was pretty happy with the position. I thought I'd like either win or draw. Um, Mm -hmm. And uh, explain to us this sequence of trying to force her, at least uh, push her to play this move g4 and solidify the structure. Um, yeah, so actually, uh, so g4, she, I don't think she really wants to take on f4 because uh, I have rook takes and then I get like the f file. Yeah. Um, so after g4, uh, queen to g5, uh, I wasn't sure whether I was like winning or not but here i thought like i could uh play on the queen side in the ending yeah. uh well her play on the king side wouldn't really be that as like strong and she did try something in the game uh after we traded queens with like h5 h4 but maybe h4 was a bit premature because mm -hmm. now i can take and the g4 pawn is weak mm -hmm. very nice and it was at this moment when you played the move h3, you kind of coaxed her into maybe mm -hmm. taking on h3, maybe. Yeah. But even if she doesn't take it, the position is almost hopeless. Yeah. She did take, and you finished with this beautiful um, calculated shot. Very nice, Alice. Right now you're uh, by yourself in the lead. How are you feeling about your chances? How, how are you feeling about your play so far? Uh, I think my play so far is definitely good. I'm really happy with this game because I thought like out of the opening uh, I might be in some trouble, especially since she seems so well prepared. Um, but overall, I mean, I guess like there's still five more rounds to go. It's not even like half of the tournament yet. Um, and I'll be playing Rochelle, uh, who I think, I mean, when I checked you with better, I think. I no, I think Rochelle is not in a oh. good position. No, I feel Even like though a lot of things have happened. Okay, maybe Rochelle is actually doing quite well right yeah. now. Yeah, yes. uh, so she'll be only be half a point behind me, so it's important, I guess, for me to uh, try not to lose tomorrow's round. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far I'm happy with my play, and I hope that I'll be able to keep it up. Congratulations, uh, Alice. And sorry for keeping you so long in the studio, but it was a fun game. You were watching. I saw you. You were like approving yeah. of Mishra's uh, moves <laughs> as well, nodding your head. Very nice. Congratulations. We'll Thank see you. you tomorrow. Absolutely. Our congratulations as well, Alice. And indeed,